Do you want more frames? Are you struggling not to get frame drops? Struggling to get headshots? Struggling to keep up with salty 10 year old kids? You fucking retard! I give double headshot and what you doing? You suck my dick! All because you have bad frames. Huh. <laughs> well then, you can say goodbye to your frame issues because in this video, I, Chad, will be fixing all your frame issues and regain that title of Chad. Giga Chad. But anyways, before we start this video, I just want to say 96.4% of you mother f I mean, guys are not subscribed. So please make sure you make that subscribe, that red subscribe button gray and, uh, and, uh, and, and what? Oh yeah, um, the, yeah, the bell icon as well. And then, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've given a link in the description to download a software which is called Throttle Stop. You want to make sure you go to the link and then just scroll down till you see Throttle Stop 9.4. Just click on download and then click on the server which is closest to you. And yeah, as you can see, Throttle Stop is downloading and then I'm just going to click on show in folder and then I'm just going to drag this to my de desktop and then you just want to right click this zip file and then click on extract to throttle stop and as you can see a folder is created you just want to click on that and then you can see the application throttle stop.exe you just want to click on the application and then just click on OK. And then from here, once you open up Throttle Stop, you just want to click on Game from Performance and then make sure you enable BD Pro Shot, Speed Step, and C1E. Make sure you enable these three settings. Okay. And then you just want to click on Fiverr. And then before you do anything, you want to make sure you save voltages immediately click on apply and then now the first thing you want to do is come to turbo ratio limits and then set all cores to the max okay to the max uh, yeah after you do that you just want to click on unlock adjustable voltage and then don't change anything else you just want to come to offset voltage for you guys the value might be zero you guys uh, the value might be zero for you guys so you want to try going as low as you can like let's say minus 100 okay if your PC crashes at minus 100 try going a bit lower to around minus 90 one okay but for me my pc will crash if i put it on minus 91 so i'm just gonna decrease it even further like i'm just gonna go for minus 82 which works perfectly for me so i'm just gonna click on apply so you want to try going as low as you can if minus 100 doesn't crash your pc you can go even uh, further you can increase it even further to minus 125 or something like that okay so now you you want to make sure you do this with Intel GPU click on unlock adjustable voltage set the value which uh, works for you and then click on apply click on CPU cache click on un unlock adjustable voltage set the value click on apply and do the same for system agent click on unlock adjustable voltage and then click on apply click on ok and now you want to make sure you disable taskbar 
okay and then click on options and then make sure you enable start minimize and minimize on close you want to make sure you enable start minimized and minimize on close and then just click on ok and then now you can just close this application it will be running in the background as you can see now you want to make sure that you run this program even when you restart your pc or when you turn on your pc because if it doesn't run in the background then there's no point of doing all this so if you want to make sure that this always runs in the background you want to go to start type task scheduler and then click on create basic task you can name this anything i'm just gonna name this uh what gpu overclock click on next click on when i log on click on next start the program click on next and then you just want to click on browse and then go to the folder uh and go to the folder throttle stop folder and then just make sure you click on the application throttle stop dot exe and click on open click on next and then click on this box and then click on finish and then once you do this you want to make sure you want to run with highest privileges click on that and then and then click on ok now what that does is it makes sure that your throttle stop runs in the background all the time okay so even when you turn on your pc or whatever you do it always runs in the background and you want to make sure that it always runs in the background because it gives you of course then there's no point in doing all this and it gives you more frames when you play your game so yeah okay so this might work for some of you people but it might not but for me it did help me to get more frames and then my game also uh, became a bit more stable like my frames uh, started to drop less and then my uh, yeah so it just gave a bit more stable frames and it really did help me to increase my frames as well so yeah I think you guys should try this out if it doesn't work for you it's fine but then it's worth trying so yeah i guess that's it I, I i know i can't talk much because i'm playing the game i have to focus on the game at the same time i need to talk so yeah all i'm just saying is it it will work for most of you people but even if it doesn't work it's fine but it definitely will work for most of you guys uh it will help you to increase your frames and give you more stable frames like trust me you guys should try this out it might actually give you so much frame boost okay it might actually give you so much of an fps boost that you might be like bruh really is this my shitty laptop running uh, uh, a shitty i mean a, a really good game like you might be surprised so yeah, I'm just saying you guys need to try this out. Okay, so yeah, it might give you more stable and more frames. So yeah. Now the last step will actually give you more frames than the previous step. It's actually really easy. You just want to uh, go to my channel and then just click on subscribe. Yeah, literally like, I mean, come on guys. I'll be posting more of these videos and you know, maybe you can see and then you can get more and more frames so yeah so definitely you need to subscribe if you want more frames in your csgo so yeah i'll be posting two or three fps videos and then i, I don't know probably my channel is gonna die but you know what it's fine no i'm not crying it's fine i'll get more video ideas so yeah till then peace peace out